now i apply circle profile for these handles so first i create a circle by using circle tool before click on this tool first you have to check interactive creation mode is selected or not you can check in the create menu then click on the nerve primitives and make sure this checkbox is selected then click on the circle and then click and drag create a circle now i zoom little bit in case if you want to scale down you can use this scale tool then click and drag I scale down little bit now i switch to move tool and then select this circle and by pressing shift key i select this handle now i zoom out little bit then click on the surface menu extrude setting button first reset all the settings and you have to make some changes in the result position click on the add path radio button pivot component orientation it should be on the profile normal then click on the extrude circle profile perfectly applied on this curve same as i select this circle then press shift key and then select this handle then go to surface menu again and this time i click on the extrude because we already apply the settings in case if you want to scale down the thickness for this press ctrl z and then scale down this circle then apply extrude again now you can delete these curves and then place these surfaces so first you have to change the pivot position go to modify center pivot same as i select this and change the pivot position now i select only this surface and then click and drag i think we have to move down little bit same as i select this by clicking method if you click and drag you can see two object are selected so we have to select only surface then click and drag now i create a fuel tank cap so first i create a circle with the help of top viewport i think the size should be similar to this area uh, then i switch to side viewport again i move this in the right side and then create a duplicate copy with the shift key and then select both now i want to create a surface between these two circles so i go to surface menu and then apply loft surface is created but you have to reverse the direction so select this surface and then go to surface menu and then click on the reverse direction i think we have to change the pivot also so click on the modify and then click on the center pivot now i place this surface at this position so first i move from the side viewport and then switch to top viewport and then place here you can see this in the perspective viewport also i think we have to move little bit outside or you can also scale down in case it created little bit big after placing this we have to create a cap also so first we have to create a profile by using cv curve tool so i choose cv curve tool and then create a profile then hit enter key now we have to modify a little bit so i click on the component type button and then change the vertex position so you have to create this type shape 
then click on the component type button and also change the pivot position so first i place in the center then press d key and then move in the center now i apply revolve tool so and then go to surface menu and then click on the revolve setting button this time i choose 16 segment then click on the revolve uh, we have to apply reverse direction also and also change the pivot position so go to modify and then click on the center pivot now i place this from the top viewport click and drag i think size is little bit big so scale down first and one more thing we have to apply little bit design here you can also create a design with the scale tool for creating a design first you have to select this component type and then select these vertex in a alternate spacing so press shift key and then click and drag like this you can also select these vertices with the lasso selection then switch to scale tool and then click and drag inside so this type shape will be created now it look very nice click on the component type and then place so i switch to move tool and then place from the top viewport first you can also enable wireframe mode by pressing 4 and then switch to side viewport i place little bit down and then switch to top viewport again so we can see the center uh, now you can see this in the perspective viewport also so it look very nice if you face any problem in the uh, rotation press f f for focus key and now you can easily rotate this in the next class we create side support